Hey, hey guys. guys. So, this is not something that was planned, and definitely it's not something that you guys are probably used to seeing on our channel, but we wanted to talk about Toonie1's disbandment. It's so awkward starting out because the whole J pop community, even people who are into Toonie1, were very, well, I don't know if I can say surprised, but saddened by their disbandment or the announcement of their disbandment and not only that we had nam taehyun leave winter so it's kind of like that too the thing with 21's disbandment is that people like in the back of your mind you had a feeling that they might possibly disband whether it be you thought they're gonna disband this year or in 2017 or maybe in like 2018 but at the same time, there is also this part of you that wanted to believe, if you were a fan of 2 one that, oh, there's no way they're going to disband, you know. Everybody was so worried about them staying together as a group until 2015 when they did their performance at the Mama Awards. And everybody was like, oh, okay, we're on the good, you know. 2 one they did a performance in 2015. YG announced a summer comeback live but for 2016. Then it didn't happen because Menzi left, and then it was kind of like, okay, they're going to continue as three. Not the same, but as three. Which then... didn't happen because they disbanded. And I feel that other than the sadness that obviously a lot of fans feel on that other non-fans of 21 feel, because they are such an iconic group in K-pop, so seeing them go like this, like, it, hurts. it feels like YG hung them out to dry and could care less what happened to them as a group. Like, he didn't do anything with them. The only member he was truly doing anything with was CL. And there are a lot of factors that played into this, and we can't just blame one specific person. Well, you can't. If you feel that way. Yeah, like, but if you feel you that way. you can't blame CL. You can't blame Bomb. You can't blame Menzi. You can't blame Dara. It was all... All those things all, kind of came together. Yeah, all those factors kind of came together and they led up to this. And could YG have managed them better and not just left them to rot? Yeah, Especially. because YG is notorious for losing interest in a group and then leaving them to basically be forgotten. He does this with plenty of groups, too, that we all know he does with a lot. I feel like the when we all knew this was going to start going downhill for them was when he didn't really address Park Bomb's scandal. Yeah. And handle it the way it should have been handled. Instead, he just kind of let it drag on. Yeah, he kind of basically just let people continue to drag her on with the scandal. Like, every time Park Bomb was mentioned, every single time, even if it had nothing to do with the scandal, people would always mention her scandal. And he didn't really handle it the way that he should have. He kind of just, you know addressed it lightly and then was like okay bye he kind of mm -hmm. just let her he basically just left her to basically suffer by herself and try to get herself through this and i think the reason why we all had hope was because you know we saw updates on twitter and it was all copacetic and good you know you didn't you wouldn't have thought that this was gonna happen and then it happened and then I remember when I found out, I, it was too early in the morning. I was not was. fully awake. It and really then wake was. up to the news of one of my favorite girl groups of all time. The one that kept me into K-pop throughout high school. Go? And the hardest part, because I didn't get into 21. See, the first group that got me into K-pop was Super Junior. I was all about boy groups. And I had this, like, stereotypical view that girl groups were either cute or sexy. And 2 e one proved me wrong so hard when I was in ninth grade when I first saw, like, I am the best and it hurts and gotta be you. Like, they really got me into K-pop girl groups and they completely changed my perspective of K-pop girl groups in general. And they made me have a lot of respect for the things that girl groups do and the concepts that they do and what they have to deal with. And just 2 e one there's, they were such an iconic group for girl groups. They did so many things for K-pop. They got K-pop more widely known around the world. I mean, I even showed my class one of their videos, and they were in love. Your I class tell would you, be crying now. my class was in love with them. Even my English teacher was Shout like, "Oh my out gosh, to my the English teacher." My English teacher loved Menzi. She was like, "Oh my gosh, who is she? She's so cute. She's just so darling." Like y'all. 
It's just I cannot. so hard. I was still not coming to terms with I didn't even want to come to terms with the thought of any of them ever leaving. So exactly. this is just even worse. And this has happened a lot in 2016 with groups disbanding and members leaving. And it's been a lot of second generation girl groups yeah. that has been happening to. And I'm just kind of like, I can't come to terms with this. These are my faves disbanding. It hurts. And then I need a moment to, you know, mourn the loss of a member of Winter. When they debuted, they could have been it. They could have been They could have been an it group. This could have been the group to, you know, be the group of all groups. It was perfect. They had a great debut, in my opinion. And then it just kind of, he left them in the dungeon for some time. And then just didn't didn't really seem to care all that much and even though i wasn't and even though i'm not an inner circle and wasn't ever an inner circle i did like winter songs despite the fact that i wasn't a hardcore dedicated fan of them like their songs were good sentimental empty all their songs and i would just say that yg he did he definitely shows a lot of favoritism between groups and he definitely favors some groups more than others obviously he has kept Winter in the dungeon slash basement for the longest time and doesn't really seem to care to bring them out to do a comeback and doesn't seem to be in a hurry to have the group come back as a whole. Like, he may either favor a group or he favors a member in the group. We see it. We all know it. You yes. can't deny it. You he cannot deny favoritism. it. He shows a lot of favoritism. He's like that parent that chooses his favorite among his kids. And I'm kind of glad... That, you know, it's all out there now. Yeah. I'm glad, you know, Nam Taehyun has made his decision to leave. I think we all kind of, I felt that was going to happen when he said he was going on a hiatus. And I kind of feel like I'm happy because it didn't really seem like he was all that interested at some point. Or that, you know, it wasn't really working for him considering Winter wasn't really doing anything. Yeah. So I guess, you know, when she's time to go, go. I'm, all the best. Yeah, like, I feel like all people, when a member leaves a group or when the whole group disbands, everybody wishes each member, you know, luck in the future in the hopes that they'll be able to do something that will make them happy and that they can fulfill themselves in. But hopefully in the future, you know, all the members will be successful. They can do what they want and be happy doing what they like. So... Blackjacks, um, be strong. You guys got this. Good luck to all the members. This was good. I feel better now. I, and talked about I actually feel, feel kind of sad talking about it. It makes but... me sad, but I definitely feel like I feel a little better because yeah. I know this is at the end of their careers as, you like, know, individuals. Like, they're all going to continue. Like, they're going to continue on their own paths, and that's great, but it's just that seeing their lives together just kind of end, it's like, ooh. I'm going to be reminiscing with videos too, y'all. I'm just I'm going through the five stages of grief. Yeah, this isn't just a normal reaction video. This is a very long talking video. So this is like so, a talk. There will probably like, be more of these in the near and distant future as more topics come up. But this, but, if you guys want to see more of these. Please let us know. Let us let know us in the know. comment section. And let us know if you liked this or if we should just stop. But, if you don't um, want to hear us babble on and rant, then this isn't for you. Yeah. But if you like it, let us know in the comment section down below. Yeah. And, and tell us your thoughts on 21 Suspamit if you would like to leave it there. Yeah. Express your anger at YG. And um, on that note, thank yeah. you guys for watching. Our hearts go out to all the Black Jacks and to the members of 21. And we hope that all of them will, you know, go on, on their own separate paths and continue to be flawless and do what they love. And we will see you guys in, in the, the next, next video. video. Bye. Bye. Dang, we sound too happy. <laughs> Whatever. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>